the hell, man? You told me to be here at 9.30. Are we gonna do this thing? We gotta make soup. Korean army soup. Let's do it. Hey! I may be hungover, but my food is the bomb, no. Ask your aunties, uncles, cousins, and your mom, no. Hungover chef, yeah, you know I go hard. If I'm not in the kitchen, you can catch me at the bar, yeah. Cheese, lettuce, or whatever, gonna make it right. A shot of Henny, help decide what we make tonight. This the life, if you ever in the mood for maybe a few drinks and some bomb-ass food. A shot of Henny, that's a plenty for the chef, yeah The Jack Daniels, you can feel it in your chest, yeah In the kitchen, got the mixer, got the spuds Then I whip them while I'm sipping, cause it's sicker with a buzz, yeah Ooh, we making bomb ass food Just one shot won't do Not tonight, cause if I'm not hungover, then you know it isn't right, yeah so today, we're going to be making Korean Army Stew, a fan favorite in Korea. It has a really fun history. Now, also today, we are honored we have our first special guest, Ryan Hutchinson. <laughs> Ryan Hutchinson, come on down. Very handsome fan there. Welcome to the show. Ryan Hutchinson, fan of the show, friend of the show, and friend of us for many, many years. Absolutely. So, today we're making a very special kind of stew. It's spicy. Uh, it's bad for you. You know, it should be eaten once in a year, real all home style like. cooking, all things we like. Now, if you notice here, we have a lot of different ingredients. We have kielbasa, we have spam, we also have baked beans, tofu. What are these ingredients all about? Um, they're pretty cheap American foods. Exactly. <laughs> so, where this stew originates from is actually from the Korean War. Now, Fair, I'm going to need you to fact check this because I could be wrong if I'm correct. Put a little Labrador dog all happy in the corner of the video. If I'm wrong, put an angry giraffe. So what this uh, dish originates from is back in the Korean War, uh, Americans came and they shared their ingredients with the Korean army. So the Korean people, they took, you know, the Spam, baked beans, kielbasa, hot dogs, breakfast sausage, whatever, and they all kind of added it into this spicy, delicious broth with tofu and mushrooms. And it now became one of the most favorite dishes of Korea. It's a very nice, uh, you eat it with your friends, your family, they put it like in the middle of the table, they actually cook it on a portable uh, oven or stove top, and they kind of just eat as it cooks all along because most of this stuff is all processed, you know, which is why you should only eat it maybe once every two years. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start off. Seems we're gonna simple start and off. easy, I like it. Oh yeah, no, it's not too bad. So we're going to have you start cutting up this kielbasa here, all right, start us off. Okay. I can open it. So what we're going to do is we're going to probably only use half, we don't need a whole lot of it because there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out of here. So cut off a good chunk and the way you're going to be slicing it is kind of like on an angle here. So I'm going to have you just go just kind of like that. See what I'm saying? Okay. Nice and pretty. Mean? It'll fit in the pot. Yeah. Nice. Now while you're doing that, I am going to prep the Spam. Now I was never really the biggest fan of Spam. And honestly, I don't know if I've ever had Spam. Never had it? It's kind of yeah. like a big hot dog log. <laughs> yeah. But uh, my fiance's parents eat it. I guess it's like a real Philly thing. And they'll actually fry it up and they'll put it like on a potato roll and it's really nice. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this maybe a quarter of an inch. It's real gloopy, but trust me, it's going to be real nice. We're going to use probably all of it because why not? Slice this guy up. It's very salty, right? It's I've always heard it. Yes, it's a very sodium rich meat. Okay. All of the meats in here are going to be pretty sodium rich. Okay, so that's prepped, that's prepped. You did a good job on that. Ta da! Ah. So now what we're going to do is you're going to have you prep the tofu. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that, but that's okay. We're going to drain this now. They're going to splash me with it a little bit? Yeah, yeah, they're going to christen you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Everybody, every guest that comes on the show gets christened with a little firm tofu water. Slap the slap. Okay, there we go. We're going to move this over. Same kind of deal. I'll probably use half, just, you know, quarter of an inch, just okay. slice her down. Um, so don't use all of it? Just go I would right use out. all of it because it's okay. kind of like a lot. So now we're going to prep the sauce for the dish. We're going to mix a couple things together. I'm going to come right behind you. So we're going to start off with some gochugaru, which is a kind of chili powder. So we're going to start off with a little bit of that. I'm just going to eyeball everything. It's Korean food, you got to use feeling. 
a little bit of that. We're gonna add some of this uh, gajujang. This is a paste of chili. Now this is gonna be a pretty spicy dish. How do you do with spice, Hutch? I'm pretty good with spice. Yeah, you like spicy foods? Yeah, I mean my nose will definitely start running. We're gonna add a full spoonful of the gochujang. Maybe, maybe a little bit more than that. Okay, then we're gonna add the soy uh, bean paste. This is called downjang. Again, I'm really sorry if I'm mispronouncing everything here. So a little downjang. I can get the damn thing open. All right, we're gonna use a little bit of this too. I don't care if I'm mixing everything, this is my personal stuff. I like everything. Close that up. We're gonna add a little soy sauce. Just a little bit there. All right, we're also gonna add a little fish sauce to the uh, sauce here. This stuff is a flavor bomb, but uncooked it smells awful. We're also gonna add a little bit of this cooking wine. I believe this is a rice wine. Just a little bit. There we go, that should be enough. And we're going to add some garlic. There we go. I already have these already peeled. We're gonna use a lot of garlic. Korean food, they love garlic. They love it more than the Italians, which I thought was crazy. But they'll put garlic in just about anything. And they love their food spicy. Some of the spiciest food that I've ever had in this world is Korean. Better, uh, more spicy than Colombian, Mexican, any of the South American countries. They love their spice. So we're just gonna crush, I don't know, maybe six to get eight. one of those tools. Oh, this I is fantastic. I don't have one of those in my kitchen. It's fantastic. Sometimes if that's too big, it don't work, but oh no, it's good. There we go. The only problem is it gets kind of stuck, so you gotta like play with it a little, a little bit. Other than that, it's pretty good. If you want, Hutch, over there I have the pepper mill. You wanna grab that? The pepper mill? The pepper mill. The pepper mill. <laughs> Give like a good three or four cranks in there. Did one for good measure. Yeah, one for good luck. Okay, we're gonna add one more. That's one pile of flour. Oh yeah. So if you do me a favor, in yes. the um, pantry there, if you look over to the left, I believe, unless she moved it, my lovely fiance, just like to hide stuff from me, you'll see a red seasoning container. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna add a little salt. A little sprinkle. And just to top things off so it's not so thick, just a little water. Now once you stir that up, make a nice little paste out of that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, get in there. Oh yeah. A little stir and dance. <laughs> get the hips into it. Get the hips into it. Get that wrist nice and loose. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna chop up some green onion. Oh, that's right. good. There you go. That should be good. Now that'll probably be more than Sounds enough for good. two servings. Oh yeah, it's very aromatic. So we're probably only gonna use about half of that. Let's get fancy, put them on an angle. This is where I'd be losing a finger. <laughs> Trust me, I've almost lost a lot of fingers in my time. Alrighty, now I think we got everything we need. We're gonna grab our shallow saucepan. There we go. We'll do this right over here. We're gonna start off with some kimchi. Nice. You like kimchi? I do love that. Usually on sandwiches for me. On sandwiches? Yes. Interesting. This is some nice fresh kimchi. The store makes it by hand, it's amazing. Oh yeah. Smell that. Put some kimchi in the middle there. We're gonna layer our spam. Just gonna kind of shingle it over here. Do you wanna grab the kielbasa? Yes, sir. And shingle it like we did this. All right. While you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the tofu. I can shingle. Shingle, shingle, shingle. Like your dad make you used to do when you were fixing the roof. Yes, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, make it look pretty. The prettiness probably was uh, from the cuts, but 
When you guess. get an expert, you expect expert work, right? <laughs> Try. There you go. Beautiful. Right. We're going to layer our yeah. tofu. There we go. That should be good enough. Uh, we have our spring onion. Throw some over here. Right over there. Put some on the other side just for the contrast of color. It's a pretty looking dish. Oh yeah, so far. So far. Now we're going to add couple things that I've had pre-soaking. We have some very lovely move the kimchi, Korean glass noodles. Now I love these. You have to let them soak or else they get too stiff. We're gonna throw that right over there. And we also have... So those are noodles you don't have to boil in water at all? You just let them soak in the Um, Yeah, we're gonna boil this so pretty much in its own uh, okay. broth. But you probably should. And then we have these lovely lovely rice cakes that I've also had soaking to kind of get the texture out. If you have fresh rice cakes you don't have to soak it but I think that it brings a nice texture. It brings that like chew. I love chewy things. Yeah. Okay so we got that. We're gonna add our mushrooms. These are enoki mushrooms and this is just gonna make this feel a little bit better about eating all this processed meat. <laughs> so about half. Throw yeah. some fungus in it. Throw some fungi. We're gonna cut the little bottom part off because I don't know what that is, it freaks me out. We're gonna lay that, break it up a little bit, right on top. And then we're gonna add half of our beautiful sauce. Oh yeah. You know what, F it, we're gonna add all of it. So max spice at this Ooh. point. We're going max spice. Should I try some? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little finger. Ooh. Now you're probably more of a man when it comes to spice. I'm, oh yeah. Ever since I quit smoking, I lost my ability to eat spicy That's food. That's good. Definitely lingers a bit. It lingers, it builds. So we're gonna add a nice beef stock. Now it would be nice if you had like a traditional Korean stock, like that would have been sick. But it's third time on the channel, we don't make our own stock. I just, I don't like making stock. It takes hours, you gotta simmer, it's too much. So now we're gonna add a pack of ramen noodle pasta to the party. We're just gonna throw it right on top. And one final ingredient, American cheese. This is the strangest part. Here. It's so strange, but the- I was the, doing my homework on this. They're like, throw some slabs of American cheese. Yeah, no, what the American cheese? In triangles, specifically, every time they said yeah, it. Yeah, just throw it right on top. <laughs> what the American cheese is gonna do is gonna add a, a creaminess effect to it. I'm gonna add two because we're American. We don't mess around. But, but this has become, American we are two two pieces pieces. Of cheese. <laughs> so this has actually become a fantastic dish in Korea. Like it's really evolved. You'll find this in the fanciest of places. And traditionally, like I said, you're supposed to have one of those portable uh, stove tops, a butane lighting stove tops. And you have all of your family and friends sitting at a round table and you place this there. And as it heats up, everybody's kind of just picking out of it and eating it. And it is just wild. So we're going to do this the American way because I don't have a portable stove top. We're gonna put this on our regular kitchen top. We're gonna to leap this on medium high. Okay. And we're just gonna let it do its thing. And as you're gonna see, it's gonna start emulsifying and getting delicious. Okay, so as you see, the stew is coming along nicely. The cheese is already starting to melt, Chucky boy. Uh, what we're gonna do now is, because I forgot, I wanna make sure I do this dish to the floor, so we're gonna add some just plain beans in there. Don't forget don't the beans. Forget. Don't forget the beans. And we're also gonna add some MSG, because it good. is a flavor enhancer. Alrighty, we are almost there. She's bubbling away, hush. Look at that smell, smell that. Oh yeah, bring it Doesn't in. Doesn't that smell good? I it wish we could fantastic. just like, oh. throw it into the camera for you. It smells like <laughs> a nice Korean like restaurant. It smells so good. You could smell the sweetness, the spiciness, you could smell the kielbasa, the cheese the emulsified. Spam. The Spam. <laughs> the cheese emulsified beautifully into the sauce. It's nice and creamy. It's giving it like a lighter color. And we're just gonna let this bubble away just a little bit longer, reduce it down. I like it nice and thick. And then we're gonna give it the old taste test. All right, she is ready to go. Beautiful. Now we're not gonna plate this. We're gonna eat it like this, like it's meant to be eaten. Like I said, it's supposed to be eaten around a table. We're just gonna enjoy it. Dig right in, bud. Tell me what you think. 
gonna be a little hot. All right, I was about to say, this might be a little, might be a little toasty. See, I'm Italian, so what I do with the chopsticks, I always get made fun of. I'll actually take the noodle and then I'll just swirl it around like it's a fork. <laughs> Cause I gotta make everything Italian. But it's a pretty successful method if you look at that. I mean, it's better than mine. I'm trying to be proper with it. Oh my God. It is so spicy. That's really it's good. It's not though. too bad though. I'm not gonna lie. It's not too crazy. Yeah, I get a little bit of spam in there. But it is freaking delicious. You gotta get the rice cake. This is my favorite bit. I'm gonna try that bit right now. It's almost like a creamy and gnocchi. So good. Oh, sure. <laughs> Spitting food back in the pot. Oh, that is nice. It's chewy, right? Uh -huh. Chewy, it's creamy. I like that. It's delicious. It has good texture to it. It is delicious. Mmm. A little bit of spam. Make sure you get a glass noodle, too. Where do they go? Right here. Oh, the little snakes in there. I got it. Look at that. Glass noodle also has that nice chewy texture to it. See, we didn't even boil these. We just let them cook right in the flavor of the stew. Mmm. Good. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna enjoy this for a little bit. I wanna thank Hutch for coming by for the video. Give me a nice Absolutely. little handshake, buddy. Thanks for having me, Jerry. Much appreciated. I wanna thank you guys for giving us support on our channel. We know we put out a really long video last time. We wanna appreciate the people who watched it. From now on, videos are going to be shorter. They're going to be more to the point. That was more of a special. But this is our beautiful Korean army stew. And we're going to come back with you with the next video soon. Thank you for coming. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Have a beer only. Later, everyone. We on a mission when we in the kitchen, we whipping the dough, yeah. Bros, they blowing the battle like it never mattered. We've been here before, yeah. And it's never basic whenever we make it. Under the influence of intoxicated.